Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to use this Instagram content planner template for Google Sheets. It's available on my Etsy shop. You can find the link in the description down below. So first I'm going to give you a quick tour and then I'm going to deep dive into every single section. So the first thing you're going to see is the space where you can customize your entire template. So this template is fully customizable. So this is the space where you do that. Then you have your hashtag manager. You're going to make a list of every single one of your hashtags right here, every hashtag that you could ever possibly use in your content. And then you're going to take those hashtags and you're going to spread them out into several different groups that you can rotate across every single one of your posts. So you're not repeating the exact same hashtags every time. Then you have this monthly strategy space in which you can write down your main goals for the month, actions to take, a to-do list, space for notes. And then you have this little section right here in which you can write down important events for that month. And then you have this space in which you can brainstorm your content ideas. And once you actually use that idea, you can just check this box to remind yourself that you've already used it. Then you have this monthly content planner sheet. So you have this little calendar right here that updates automatically. And then for every single day that you see here, you have a space that looks like this. You have room to write down five different posts for each day. And then you're going to set all of this customizable information that I'm going to talk about in a moment. And finally, you get this six weekly sheets. So what happens here is you're going to take, for example, week two, Sunday second, you have room for five different posts. So you go to week two, Sunday second, and there's one, two, three, four, and five posts. This is where things start to get awesome. So I'm going to give you a really quick example of how you can work with one single post for a specific day. So let's say I'm working with Sunday two. So I'm going to write down my post idea. So this is my first post idea. And then I'm going to select my options from this drop down right here. So these options are fully customizable. This can be named however you want. And the content of each one of these drop downs can be whatever you want. You customize that right here. I'm going to show you how that changes in a moment. But as you can see, I have these four titles and then each one of these section has these elements. And that's exactly what you're going to find right here. And then this section, I'm not going to touch it because it's going to update automatically. I'm going to show you how in a minute. So right now I'm working on Sunday two and the post ID is 36. So I'm going to go to the corresponding weekly sheet. I have six weekly sheets. So I'm going to go to the corresponding weekly sheet. And then, as you can see, all of this information that I just wrote here was pulled automatically into this section. So then I'm going to select the status. So it's work in progress. And now, if I go back to the monthly content, you're going to see that this label right here was updated automatically. So whenever I change that here, it updates here. In this section, you have space to add your post image, completely optional. If not, you can just add a link to where you can find the artwork or just nothing at all. And then right here, you're going to write your caption. So my first caption. Then you can add a call to action link if you need to. Maybe you have a swipe up, a link, whatever you want. You can add that right here. And then you have this section. This section works hand in hand with the hashtag manager. So as I mentioned before, you're going to make a list of all your hashtags and then you're going to spread out those hashtags into different groups that you can rotate. So right here, I have my first group. That's the way I wanted to name it. And then I selected all of these hashtags for that group. I selected those from this drop down. So if I add more hashtags here, they're going to show up in my drop down for me to select. I'm going to talk about the size in a moment. So right now I left it blank. So now my group has these four hashtags. So if I go to the post that I was working on, you're going to see this list in which you can select a specific group. So I'm going to select my first group and then I'm going to tell my sheet that I want my hashtags to be joined by the hashtag symbol. You do that by selecting the hashtag option. So as you can see, now I have this section right here that's automatically pulling every single one of my hashtags from that group and joining them together by the hashtag symbol. So what you can do next is just copy and paste this cell directly on Instagram, on any scheduling app, wherever you want. You can also select other ways to join them. It can be by commas or by spaces, but it's probably always going to be hashtags. And then down here, you're going to find that your caption and your hashtags were joined together into this single cell. So now what you can do is just copy and paste this cell right here, again, directly on Instagram or on any scheduling app that you want. So you have the caption and the hashtags both separate right here that you can copy and paste. 
or you can have them joined right here for you to copy and paste. So you have six sheets that look like this. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. And each sheet starts from Sunday and goes all the way to Saturday. So there's the seven days of the week right here. And below each day, you have room for five different posts, which is the exact same thing that you have right here. So for any specific week, you have seven days. And then each day has room for five different posts. And then you have each one of the six weeks. So there are six weeks because I want you to have flexibility. So as you can see, January day one starts in this first week. And then the last days go all the way over to a sixth week. So I wanted you to have more space than you need and not less. So as you can tell, every single one of these rows has its corresponding section in these weekly sheets right here. So you use this section to plan your more general ideas and then you go in depth into every single post in this section right here. So you can use this alongside your clients or you can use this by yourself for your business, for your own Instagram account, however you want, completely up to you, completely flexible. So then I'm gonna show you how to customize these sections right here. So you have goals, content pillars, person responsible and types of content, which is the same thing that you have right here. So if you change that, let's say goals to content pillars to person responsible to and types of content to, you're gonna see how that reflects right here automatically. So these four columns can become whatever you want them to be. And then in each one of these sections, you can customize your elements. So you can do whatever you want on each one of those sections, and it's gonna pull itself automatically into the dropdowns. So whatever you want. So this is completely flexible and completely customizable. Same thing for the status labels. So if I change them right here, new status, and then I go to my weekly sheets, you're gonna see that new status showed up right here. And if I change that status, it's gonna show up right here. So in this monthly content planner view, you're gonna have full visibility of the status of every single one of your posts. Now the calendar changes automatically whenever you change the date. So if I do February, then the calendar updates automatically and days right here also update automatically. So you have Tuesday one, and then they will also update right here. So you have Tuesday one. And now finally, I'm gonna go more in depth into the hashtag manager, but I'm gonna do that in a separate video because this hashtag manager is also available separately on my Etsy shop. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna give you a quick overview one last time. So you have the space where you customize, you have your hashtag managers, you have room for 30 hashtags on each group, and then you have room for 15 groups. Then you have your monthly strategy, your monthly content planner, and then six weekly sheets. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me on Etsy. I'm gonna leave the link to purchase a template on the description down below. Thanks for watching.